welcome today guys I'm gonna be making for you all another biscuit recipe and this one is another popular one it's called cheddar bay biscuits I'm gonna give you my version of this this popular biscuit that's made by red lobster so to make this you'll need some self-rising flour some buttermilk or if you don't have this I'll leave the measurements for whole milk with lemon juice to make your own I have blended cheese mixture cheddar cheese two blends the cheddar the sharp and the mild cheddar some very cold butter cut up into small cubes some extra butter I have two sets of garlic powder and some dried parsley flakes to start I'm gonna add the cold butter to the flour using your fingertips you're gonna break this butter into the flour okay once you've incorporated the butter in here add in the cheese and the bigger amount out of the two sets of garlic powder give this a mix to incorporate now add in the buttermilk mix to incorporate your mixture you don't want to over mix this you just want to mix it just until it comes together When your mixture comes together, you're going to spoon it out or use your ice cream scoop and spoon them out onto your baking tray or your cookie tray. And if you guys um, wanted a really strong garlic flavor in this, by all means, you can um, put more garlic powder into the mixture. It's all about your personal preference. And if you wanted it cheesier, you can put more cheese inside or you can even top it with cheese to finish it off. Now these go into your preheated oven 450 degrees Fahrenheit for about 10 to 12 minutes. If you make these smaller, they will take less time. So once they have a nice brown color, you'll take them out of your oven. In a small saucepan, you're gonna add in the remaining butter and the garlic now you're going to place this on your stove on low heat and just allow it to melt once the butter melts just set this aside okay so the biscuits just came out of the oven and here i have the melted butter to this melted butter i'm adding in the parsley flakes and i'm going to mix that in now, now take the warm butter mixture and slather it all over the biscuits. Once you put that butter mixture all over them, these are now ready to be served. These are best served hot. Now I'm just going to break into one to show you guys. I can smell that cheddar cheese in this. Ooh, it smells so good see how soft I'm just gonna give these a taste I have to say they taste pretty close to those red lobster biscuits I can't wait for you all to try this recipe if you like today's recipe, remember to give it a thumbs up and to share it with your friends. If you're new to my channel and you like what you see, I hope you remember to subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all another day with another one of my recipes. 